Um, <coughs> so I'll um, just skip through um, uh, seven years of um, some activities around urban uh, development in Zagreb. Uh, we started 2006 to uh, gather a huge coalition against the city uh, dev uh, devastation of a city core, one beautiful uh, square in the city core. Um, but I won't pass through uh, many activities we passed through these uh, uh, seven years um, because the, the idea is to present some aspects of the method we, we worked. Uh, I'll show you some pictures just to see the scale and the scope of the activities and um, the involvement of the citizens uh, within the activities. So um, it is interesting that we, um, in these seven, year, uh, this seven years, we had kind of um, mobilized the media, the, the citizens in uh, Zagreb and in all of the Croatia. So we had, for instance, uh, several thousands uh, of uh, newspaper articles entrance into the um, main TV uh, political shows and stuff like that. So that, that was kind of a uh, huge uh, civil society operation, let's say like that. Um, and um, it was kind of a starting point of the movement in Croatia against the over-exploitation of the space as such as a basic resource of uh, uh, human development. So um, we were against one uh, uh, specific project in, uh, in the near, in the core of uh, city of Zagreb. Uh, city of Zagreb uh, has uh, 700,000 people and uh, we have a very small city center with a small pedestrian zone and they decided to build a huge uh, investment in one of the blocks in the city, like 100 million euros of investment, and then for, and they wanted for the first time to take part of the public space for private purposes to enter to enter into the private garage and to build a lot of square meters in uh, in uh, uh, in this block. As this was totally impossible at that time within the uh, master plan within the a law, they change. Uh, they started to change the whole legal environment around this. So we've fought for years, uh, blocking the the pro on a procedural level. But at the end, we had to confront even physically uh, with the. Uh, uh, we had to resist this even uh, physically by uh, peaceful, passive uh, type of uh, resistance of the citizens. Um, what is interesting is that um, in th that period of time, we had kind of uh, a, a very populistic mayor who was really into kind of um, involving people into and, and client uh, making a, of a citizen kind of a cli clients, spreading a lot of small portion of money into different groups and we were the first to confront uh, this type of uh, behavior because it was populistic and it was kind of w uh, one thing it was doing for the public and the, the, uh, the huge interest of, uh, of uh, private investors against the legislation, against public interest was imposed on, on Zagreb. So uh, we started with a lot of performing type of activities but I'll show just uh, a, a, a few of them because we have uh, a little time. So um, um, in the middle of this campaigning, before the confrontation, we gathered 50 uh, 55,000 people signed the petition against the, the devastation of the city. In a city of 700,000 people, this is, uh, this is the, huge pe uh, the, the, the biggest petition we had in the city in the last uh, two, uh, several decades. So a lot of uh, uh, people participate in this. It was like a really um, uh, uh, amazing to us because we were skeptical on how uh, at, at the beginning the public will react on this. Because, you know, this is indeed the uh, center of the town and most of the people are not so familiar uh, with, with it because they don't live there. 
but they understand they understood the relevance of a public space as such. Um, so this was like a um, lot of activities around on uh, this uh, gathering of uh, signatures. Um, but then we had kind of um, uh, we wanted to present this uh, 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 this huge number of signatures by sending postcards to uh, to the mayor, but we said okay, it's not. Uh, it's not valid in terms of he will not react. So we wanted to present how many people uh, signed this. And we used all of these po uh, post as a postcard uh, signed by the citizens to surround the, the block they want to invest in there. So this was, we c uh, couldn't use all 55,000 of signatures, uh, but there was like a 25,000 of, so it was like, a this is block four time uh, 100 meters, uh, the size of the block. So it looked like that. Um, so after this, we had a kind of, we wanted to present how big this, this was at 2008, how big this entrance, this, um, uh, taking uh, of the public uh, pedestrian zone. So we marked this in order to public to understand how, how large this will be. And then we organized a, a protest, first a huge protest with the citizens. And now we have to, um, it's, uh, the, the best time now is to, to explain how we succeeded in gathering such a, a large number of people. Uh, Croatia is uh, not a place like Italy, Spain, or Greece where people like to protest, you know. Um, they even don't like to share that much, you know. So we have kind of uh, Austro-Hungarian, you know, uh, uh, type of behavior, uh, like uh, you don't interact if you don't, uh, because the power is, you know, on the other side and you don't, uh, you try not to <laughs> interact with it. So it was amazing that to, uh, more than 2,000 people came to this protest and um, they were uh, these letters means uh, give up we said to the uh, to the city authority and to the investor to give up um, and um, um, this was very interesting because um, we succeeded to have um, that much people involved uh, because of the structure how we organized uh, 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 people we said okay uh, usual way of organizing protest is, you know, to say to public me to public media, um, come to protest because of that. But we said, okay, we will do as we organize a campaign on on a level of several years. We said, okay, we want to involve people in on a different scale into the process of organizing stuff. So we had like a three or four groups of people that were uh, the citizens uh, in different role in, in this protest. For instance, we had like uh, 250 people who said, who were partly activists or citizens very much interested or engaged in the previous activities. Uh, uh, we had uh, two, uh, 250 people that uh, said that they uh, kind of uh, obliged themselves to, to come in 45 minutes from the announcement of some event. For instance, a construction work starts or we go to some ministry or, so it was kind of rea a reaction group and it was kind of a very organized type of uh, 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 a group where we had uh, ten, uh, 10 people calling uh, for their uh, 15 people and stuff like that. So it was really a kind of uh, immediate response kind of uh, group. Uh, second group of 500 people were at our mailing list and on our um, uh, on our you know different type of I information services, and they were kind of to come to the event after uh, during the day if uh, they are invited, and we had we had more than 2,000 people from wider public that said through different mean websites, uh, public announcements, stuff like that, they uh, 
they said, okay, we want to get the information about activities and we want uh, uh, to participate in them so you can inform us by SMS. So um, SMS is maybe the, the, only, uh, the only media uh, nowadays that is not too uh, kind of, uh, there is no congestion in, in that media uh, because it is kind of a very uh, uh, kind of strict way of, uh, of using it. Um, so if people are willing to say, okay, you can send me SMS, this is kind of uh, express uh, expression of their interest really to participate. So we had like 2,000 people who were kind of uh, eager to, to really uh, be um, highly involved in the process. So when the work, they tried to start work after five years of uh, legal fights and stuff like that, <coughs> they, start, uh, they, they started to uh, uh, work uh, in a legal, in illegal manner. So we decided to say, okay, no way, and we uh, build with this uh, logic of, uh, of involvement of the citizens. We reacted, this was at si 6 in the morning, we reacted and we blocked the, the work, and then we uh, put the containers uh, here, and a lot of people st started to flood to bring food, money, you know, and they, uh, they also uh, um, uh, were part of the group that uh, were uh, covering the street in the manner of uh, uh, taking care of work not starting. So we organized a protest here. Uh, it was total stormy weather. We built this Trojan horse as a kind of symbol of uh, the city's development and the symbol of our mayor because he is populistic and on, uh, on the other side he is pushing the the uh, uh, against public interest, uh, different projects and stuff like that. It was really... So that was kind of a uh, way how to, uh, how to build grassroots movement. Uh, you, need, you need certain tools. But what is important to say, you firstly have to make a huge coalition of different stakeholders, different actors. So we had, for instance, green uh, environmental NGOs, we had culture NGOs, we had youth, youth networks involved in this. So we call this uh, tactical networking as a tool of uh, intersectorial uh, advocacy uh, collaboration on a longer period of time. So these, uh, these are not projects or platforms of, uh, of uh, uh, some immediate interest but something what uh, is trying to confront, um, confront the, some political or po policy development. So making different actors come together and bringing their knowledge, experience and stuff like that is a crucial point in making movements going in, a, an, in further direction. And in that sense, um, format and methods, how we do uh, things, because this is not the only tactical platform we developed in these years. Uh, for instance, we are doing now uh, against privatization of our highways in Croatia. Uh, 1,000 kilometers of highways they want to, to privatize uh, in these years. And it is interesting because, um, because uh, we are not kind of fetishist of a method, you know, because, you know, there was a lot of talk about, you know, the uh, uh, these movements of direct democratic movements and stuff like that. We really believe that it is necessary to have methods that are appropriate for certain type of fights or organizing stuff. And so we are mixing deliberative methods, uh, highly representative method, and and, di and direct democratic method on on a scale that is uh, 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 designed uh, for the purpose of of some uh, some action. And that would be. Uh, all. Uh, Dubravka will continue a little bit of. Yeah. Oh. Just. So there's a oh, okay now it works. Uh, so there's a uh, like technology doesn't work by default. Uh, 
okay, this is a bit too loud. Okay. Uh, so one thing that, beside all of these things that Theo mentioned, that I think uh, that make Right to the City in Zagreb really special initiative, there is also uh, one more aspect of it that where kind of I came into the picture and when I came is this uh, uh, awareness that uh, this type of activities uh, take a lot of time on an everyday level and that you have to also think about one reflection and self-reflection and also production of knowledge and how this knowledge that is produced during the time and awareness that is being produced during the time can be trans transmitted to other places and to other different levels and different scales. And at the same time, having awareness that you cannot do that while you're actively building tactical networks, while you're sitting in the streets and blocking this, that you are actually need to involve some, as well, another type of people who will be there really close to the action and who, who can be first one of these places through the, which can help you have a step back and distance and, and, and kind of reflect on what you're doing, maybe because you're every day into fight and you sometimes need a space out that can be given by some other format, but also that become a mediators between the knowledge that is produced uh, within the, the struggle and within the, within the organization to the outside. And the outside then is not only media and everyday people, but also academia and also different, uh, also prof different type of professions who are somehow engaged usually on the other side of the battle, working for developer or for the city or sun. And I'm an architect and a researcher, and I research topics which are related to actually right to the city and spatial justice and practice. And we collaborate. And I'm the one who, I'm not only the one, but I'm one of the people who are really close. And, but we are not activists in a sense that we are recognized as someone who is part of the, part of the movement completely, but we are the one who do this translation, which we inform also by our knowledge from other, play, other uh, in our, our, our knowledge of what's going on in the similar type of initiatives, like, and that we feed to, to other people, but also we try to, in different ways, package this knowledge that is being produced while it's being, while the struggle is being uh, is happening and kind of distributed to the other side. Of course, people like Theo can do that by themselves, but it's important that it's not only those who are, who are every day involved, and also that people like me, with, I'm kind of in between academia and stuff, that we can feed then this experience into working with students, working with other people, working it, uh, bringing it back to the context and also bringing it back to the public. So I think this is really important, another aspect of methodology that really brings this, this uh, when an uh, initiative is mature enough to understand that it needs also a position of a reflection and that the knowledge being created also needs to be distributed and to also control, not to control also the way how this knowledge is being distributed and, uh, and produced and to use this to build your oneself itself but also to help build the capacity of the audience, whatever the audi or the audience is. And one thing that happened with these seven years, at least, of struggle of right to the city is that questions of privatization of public space and questions of public interest and, uh, public and, pri and re uh, resources are be really became from something that no one cares about to one of the most important topics whenever there is any election or any political process going on. And with not only happening that now in uh, Croatia, but, for but also spreading, spreading this awareness to, for example, the rest of ex-Yugoslavia, or, or, and hopefully to, uh, much further. Thank you.